This is a very cute velvet and embroidered uh, vest, kind of a um, Oktoberfest style German vest, and it sold for 30 bucks. This is a vintage faux fur garrison hat. Uh, I do believe it says medium, and it has a union label, so you know it's definitely vintage. Um, there's a little mark up front. Still a cool hat, sold to someone in a cold area of the country, so that makes sense. Sold for 25 bucks. This is part of Jay's hardware auction. Uh, Bizzle it is oxy, it's got oxy clean stuff in it. Um, to use with an upholstery slash carpet cleaning machine. Uh, the funny thing is I actually have one of these. It's called the Big Green. Um, I got it at a thrift store a couple years ago for 30 bucks. And since we just bought that new rug the other day, it had a big stain on it. And I actually used this to kind of reduce the stain. The stain's still there, uh, but it's definitely cleaner. And then I cleaned our entire couch with this stuff and it was great. Um, so we have a bunch of bottles of these. They're on Amazon, but I've been only selling them on eBay. Like they have not been sold on Amazon yet. Um, and they sold for 13 bucks each. I think they were less than a dollar each, so not bad. So this is a cool sale. This is some beautiful leather. It's one big cowhide um, that we bought last year for $150 um, to recover a chair that we were putting in the farmhouse. Um, and th these are the remnants, so they're big pieces and small pieces, and we put it up for, I forget how much, but, um, fabric is on sale, so this sold for $64. So we basically made about half of the money back for the stuff that we didn't use. This is a vintage Harris Tweed, um, you can see. A woven wool with leather buttons, um, men's coat. Um, we took a best offer on this to move it out. We took a best offer of $50. These are a pair of Nubuck leather French made boots, women's boots. The cool thing about these is we found them on the street in Amsterdam. Um, there was like a big bag of clothes and these were in them. And they sold for a best offer of $75. This is a Duck's Back brand, kind of like a Carhartt um, jacket with a hood, and it's lined on the inside. You can see the brand. It's a nice brand, and it sold for 50 bucks. So last night when this sold, Jay said, I can't believe a single glass sold for $30. And it did, because it's awesome. So you can see it's a whiskey glass. It's got whiskey recipes on it. Definitely mid-century. Totally cool. And old-fashioned. And it's, you know, got the rim, has the gold on it. Um, there's no maker's mark on here, but it's still awesome. 30 bucks. These are a pair of men's leather wingtips. What's special about these is they're actually shell cordovan, which is horse leather. Um and it's very expensive. So these sold for $200, no offer, nothing. Um, and so I was very excited to wake up to that sale today. But the way you can tell something is Shell Cordovan, number one, some of these are labeled Shell Cordovan. Sometimes they'll be labeled right here um, or inside, which obviously helps. Um, but a way to tell is um, if it's real leather, because a lot of these like vintage companies would use like kind of a plastic leather and be like faux leather like it's so awesome and that kind of looks like shell cordovan but real shell cordovan looks like this this is not the greatest example because these have not been worn a ton or they have been worn a ton and they've worn out well so when you look at regular leather um like if you have a pair of men's shoes that are this like hard shiny leather right here you're going to see creases like, you know, depending on the, the type of leather, you know, the, there'll be, um, you know, fine creases or like really thick creases on shell cordovan there. It's, it's a very like oily type leather. So you're just going to see these waves, you know, where, where the leather is bumpy. 
But that's it. You're not going to see any creases. It's just super smooth waves. Now, you can look up pictures on the internet to, uh, you know, how to identify shell cordovan. But um, that's a pretty good way of identifying it. In fact, we had photographed these and I had started listing them. Um, and I looked at the photos and I thought, you know what, that looks like shell cordovan. So I ran downstairs, got them out of storage, looked very closely, took more photos of this right here, because that's how people tell that they're really shell cordovan. And I listed them for $200 and they sold. This is a late 1970s uh, Texas Instruments calculator. As you can see, it does work. Um, so this is one of those instances. Uh, there you go, see? Uh, the cool thing about this is da, 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 it comes with a case and the manual and the original receipt from 1978. So the cool thing about this is this was being sold to the props department of the show The Americans, if you guys have watched that show, um, for the next season. And they wrote to us in the morning and said, can you ship this if we send you a label, UPS, overnight? Um, and I said yes, and it sold for $86, so I was very happy to oblige the uh, shipping, print out the UPS label and drop it off. There's a UPS box in town, so I'll drop it off before their pickup today. Okay, this is a mini tabletop countertop ironing board. Uh, we actually got it for basically for free at a bag sale. And we used it at the farmhouse, but we decided we wanted to do a full-length ironing board for people. If they're going to weddings, they really need a big full-length one. And the house is big enough, so we got the full-length one. And we're selling this one. So this sold for 20 bucks. Okay, I was looking at this in our storage the other day, and I was thinking, who is going to buy this? Jay got it. He knows people buy little shelves. They're wood on the side. Definitely rusty. It's it's a little uh, spice rack type thing. You can hang it up or you can put it on a shelf, whatever. Um, and the day after I was thinking that, someone bought it for 20 bucks. This is a new in-box Braun Flavor Select 12-cup glass carafe. Um, and it sold for 25 bucks. This is a plaid uh, newsboy cap. Knit, definitely vintage. And it sold for $36.99. This is an all sheepskin women's hat. You can see the sheepskin. It's made in Italy. It's like a little bonnet type hat. Definitely vintage. Very warm. And this sold for $40. Our last set of six soffit vents. Um, we have four left after this. Um, just four single ones. And these sold for $13. This is a vintage enamel urinal. Um, there are a lot of these online, and they do sell, but I was surprised that ours sold, and it sold for 30 bucks. This is part of Jay's uh, hardware auction that he went to. Uh, brand new in the package, uh, double cylinder lock, and it sold for 15 bucks. Another hardware auction item. This is a spray bottle of concrete mortar dissolver non-toxic, sold for 13 bucks. This is an all leather uh, Toomey brand uh, garment bag. It's quite large. It's like a bifold, like you put your suits in there and stuff. We got it at the local thrift store, surprisingly, and we had it for $275. Someone offered $250, and we said yes. $250. This is a cool little mid-century Napier brand. Um, owl with emerald glass eyes. It's a brooch, but you could probably wear it as a necklace too if you put a chain around it. And it sold for $37. This is a 2011, you see, U.S. Open Congressional um, official hat. Uh, we bought this in an estate of someone who had a bunch of these, probably went to a bunch of U.S. Opens or collected them. And this one sold for 25 bucks. This is a vintage mesh trucker's hat. Uh, Spitzer Auto World sparkly. Kind of awesome. Um, we've had it for a while, but it sold for 20 bucks. 
This is a vintage shaving mug. It's called an occupational shaving mug. Um, this one is probably from the 50s or 60s. It's kind of like a vintage reproduction antique. Um, if you find antique ones that are like hand painted and have someone's name on them from like the 1800s, they can sell for hundreds of dollars. This one, um, you know, it's printed. There's a bunch of them on eBay. Um, but it sold for 40 bucks. This is another mug that sold. It's a travel mug. It says Audi Truth in Engineering. It's got a rubber top. Kind of an awesome travel mug. Ceramic or porcelain rather. It's quite nice. Um, I had this up for $60 just because it's kind of rare. And there are Audi fans out there. But I took an offer of 30 because, come on, $30 for a travel mug? That's crazy. 30 bucks. This is a bottle of Christian Dior Dune. Um, you can see it's about 20% full. And the amazing thing is, it's still sold for 25 bucks. Not bad.